let G be a group, and we're going to define A to be the set uh, given by this special notation here. It's an angle bracket with an A and an angle bracket. And it means all the powers of A, where A here is uh, some fixed element of G. So this is the set of all powers of an element of G. And we're going to prove that H is a subgroup of G, so proof. So in order to do this proof, we have to satisfy the uh, subgroup criteria. So there's three things um, that H has to satisfy in order for it to be a subgroup of G. The first condition is that H is a non-empty set. So H cannot uh, be empty. It must contain something. The second condition uh, is that for all elements A, B, and H, uh, whenever you have uh, A, B, and H, uh, the product uh, is also in H. So this has to be true for all elements. So and given any two elements in H, the product uh, is in H. And the third condition is that for all elements A and H, so again, whenever you have A and H, um, you have that the inverse element uh, is in H. I'm kind of writing A, A, B, and H twice here, just really for emphasis. So this has to hold for all, this condition here must hold for all AB. So whenever you have two elements in H, the product is in H. Whenever you have an element in H, the inverse is in H. The step two here uh, is basically saying H is closed under the group operation. And step three is basically saying it's closed under inverses. Okay, so let's go ahead and prove this is the subgroup. So to show it's non-empty, we have to produce an element in H. Well, we know um, the following. So if n is equal to, say, 0, if n is equal to 0, we get a to the n, which is a to the 0, right? That's a power of a, and that's equal to e. And uh, all powers uh, of a are in H, so in particular this one is in H. So this shows that uh, H is non-empty. So H is non-empty. So uh, we could have taken one, we could have taken two, it doesn't matter, right? All powers of A reside inside H. I just chose zero. Um, now let's show it's closed under the group operation. So now take any. Um, let's say X, Y uh, in H. What does this mean? This means that X and Y are both powers of A. So then X is equal to a power of A, say A to the N. And Y is equal to a power of A, say A to the M. And this is for some integers N and M. So given two elements uh, in H, we know they both must, both must be powers of A. Now we have to show the product uh, is in uh, H. So we have to show the product is a power of H. So X, Y, well, X is A to the N, and Y is A to the M. So now you can add the exponents. So this is A to the N plus M. And so we've shown that uh, X, Y is a power of A, right? That power is N plus M. And because n is an integer and m is an integer, the sum is an integer, so this is uh, an integer, so therefore this is an h. So we've shown that given any two elements x, y, and h, the product x, y is also an h. The last condition is just to show it's closed under inverses. So take any, we could use the same x, but I'll do it again. Take any x and h. So this means that x equals a to the n for some n and z. And then we have to show the inverse uh, is a power of h. Well, we can do that easily. We have x inverse. So then this is a to the n inverse. And then you can write this as a to the negative n using powers of exponents, which in turn uh, is a power of a, right? If n is an integer, then negative n is an integer. So we've shown that x to the negative 1 is a power of a. So this is in h. So that's it, right? So we showed h is not empty. We showed that it's closed under the group operation, and it's closed under inverses. So therefore, h is a subgroup of g. That's it.